Let's try this. Hey guys, it's Ro. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are gonna be trying some more TikTok recipes because I have been getting thousands of requests to try new stuff. Without further ado, let's get into it. Let's start with a cake that is viral everywhere. This is called a burnaway cake. It's blowing up, it's burning up the internet. <laughs> it's spreading like wildfire. So we're gonna test it out and I'm gonna show you how it works. In all my years of being a baker, I have never never seen this. This is so cool. The only thing I've seen that was really neat like growing up is when someone could take a printable edible photo and put uh, it on a cake. I thought, oh my gosh, that's amazing. Like having a printer that has edible ink. That, 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 that blew my mind. This is even cooler because it's like a surprise cake and it's like a reveal. It's all these things and you get to set it on fire. So in front of me, I've just got a pre-made. This is a beautiful cake. We're doing this one to be themed for a gender reveal, sex reveal of your baby. I've made two of these cakes for my little sister Molly. I have two nephews and for each of them, you know, food's just our love language. How cute is this? This is edible photo paper. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna carefully it's like an edible sticker, basically, you guys. All right, so we're gonna stick this on the top oh, on the top of the cake, and the picture we picked is it's a boy because my sister had two little boys. So then you're gonna press it down nice and flat. So you've got the image and this is what it's gonna reveal. So whatever you want your surprise to be, that's what you put on top of the cake. Then we're gonna take a little icing. We're gonna make a little fence, a little border. We're gonna go all the way around, not just to make the cake cute, which it does, but to give us some distance before we put our burn away image. So there you go. I'm gonna let that sit for just a second. One. <laughs> And now we're gonna do a second layer. And the icing I'm using is American buttercream, so it's a little bit more firm and sturdy. If the double layer is squishing or kind of melting at all, put it in the fridge, let it chill before you do the second layer. Here we go, boom. Boom. Now our cake is ready to place our burnable image on top. And because this is a trend that is new new, it's really hard to find these. Now, this is not like a regular photo paper. This is rice paper and they just don't have it at stores or bakeries yet because this trend is so new. So the only place I could find it other than buying my own edible printer and using rice paper is Etsy. So on Etsy, they do sell a burn away cake kit so it will come with the rice paper on top and then your normal photo image on the bottom so this is printed boy or girl is it going to be a baby boy or baby girl we place this on top and you want to make sure that your image is lined up with the image on the bottom so they're both facing the same way another pro tip when you're making burn away cakes is you really don't want to do this too early. Rice paper is really delicate, so you don't want to make your cake and put the rice paper on and let it sit out for 24 hours. You want to do this maybe a couple hours before your party. So now once you got it on the top, you're just going to add one more layer of decoration. I'm going to do pink and I'm just going to decorate right on top of the edge of the rice paper and just make little balls to match the bottom going all the way around, securing the rice paper in place. I don't even know if this works because I've never made one. This is my first one, but I love the idea and I've seen videos of them. I love it. People getting creative with food and baking. It makes my heart happy. Okay, <laughs> let's see if it works. Please work, please work, please. <gasps> it's amazing. Look at it, it's just pouring away. <laughs> It's a boy, it's my baby nephew. Oh my gosh, how cool. <laughs> I love it, look at that. It's amazing. Oh, the burnt rice paper smells like burnt marshmallows and it still smells good because I love to burn my marshmallows. I like to char them a little bit. All right, Ro, we made you a surprise one. <gasps> Shut up! So the team put this one together. Oh. Well, Cute. pretend it's, uh, we could have this come out around your birthday, but. You guys, this is so sweet. Oh my gosh, look at this. It says happy birthday. There it goes. <gasps> okay, okay, what's inside? What's inside? <laughs> I can't, what, what am I looking at here? You did not. <laughs> We're gonna give you up. Are you kidding me? I've been rickrolled. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my gosh. This is my favorite internet meme. It's an oldie, but it's a good
goody and I still do it to Mike. I'll be like, Mike, quick, I need to send you this important link. And then I rip roll him. <laughs> All right, you guys, the burn away cake. Chef's kiss, my favorite new cake trend. Absolutely love it. So creative, so fun. I don't think any recipe is gonna be better than this today. This is my favorite day ever. This came out just a little bit ago, but I have been wanting to try it since it came out. We're gonna make a chickle. That's right, it's a cheese pickle, a chickle. I don't know who started this either. Okay, you just need a little saucepan over here, a little bit of shredded cheese. I've seen so many videos. I mean, so many, you guys. Gotta get it in a little circle, and you're gonna like just basically cook the cheese until it's a little brown around the edges. You want it to be a little crunchy. I think I love this because it's combining two things I love. I love cheese, and I love pickles. So why not put them together? I never thought to do that. I mean, I don't know who created the chickle, but they deserve a gold star. Oh wait, I haven't tried it yet. Let's back that up. Now we're gonna take our big deal. We're gonna put it here. Woo, the sleeves make this a little difficult. Then let's roll it up. Oh my gosh, this is great. Let's scoop her up, put her on a plate. <laughs> I just made my first chickle. Oh my gosh, heaven. Let's try this. Oh my gosh, it's great. My sister had a pregnancy craving where she wanted mac and cheese and then she wanted to put a little piece of pickle in it. And I thought, that's real weird. That's like kind of crazy. Then I tried it. It's not so crazy. Wow. Oh, honey bun is right by my feet. You can't have a pickle, but you want a little cheesy cheese? Good girl. There's your little cheesy cheese. Oh, wee! Where'd you come from? You make a chickle, you fry some cheese, and then all the dogs come to you. <laughs> So far, we've had banger after banger. Let's try the next recipe. I'm feeling good today. Okay, so the next one is allegedly, this is how you make a healthy Coke. In the video, she said that her like Pilates or yogi instructor, I'm not really sure which one, said that you basically can take a sparkling water that's flavored, any fruit flavor, ice and balsamic vinegar and mix them together and it's supposed to taste like Coke. Now I have never heard of this so I miss this trend completely. I'm Italian and balsamic vinegar I have never put it in a beverage. This is uh... Oh, mamma mia, this is about to be something funny. But maybe it works. You know what? I don't know what Coca-Cola's secret ingredients are and their like recipe, it's like patent. It's probably locked away in a safe within a safe within a safe, like Ocean's 12 couldn't even get it out of there. Those crews that go in and break into safes and they're like professional robbers, but they're also like 007 agents. I don't get it. What if it's just balsamic vinegar and bubbly water? Could you imagine? I'm skeptical. Very. Oh, geez. So it didn't have the measurements in the video, but I was guessing it was like two tablespoons. It looked like that much. And then I'm gonna give it a mix. Okay, looks wise, looks kind of like a Coke. If you had this sitting out and you're like, hey bro, I got you a Coke, I would think this is a Coke on ice. I was expecting to spit that out. While you're drinking it, it tastes amazing. There's like the sweetness and kind of like a little bit of sour. It's weird, but then the aftertaste is a little vinegary. This does not taste like a Coke. But I will say this recipe surprised me because I thought it was going to be <laughs> and it actually was not as bad as I thought. It's just the aftertaste. Will you guys please send me some love and give this video a thumbs up for trying this thing. Next recipe, we're making spiced watermelon rinds. Now apparently this recipe is from a woman. It's her mom's recipe and she doesn't like things to go to waste, which I love the idea of. I love this concept. So in this case, it's a recipe for watermelon rinds because I never eat the rind when I'm having a watermelon. So this is an idea of how to cook them so they're yummy. So the first step is you're gonna boil all the rinds for 20 minutes. And I didn't wanna make us wait 20 minutes, so I just has this as an example. This is what they look like before they're boiled, and then this is what they look like after, after you've boiled them for 20 minutes. Feel like a zucchini texture. Now we're gonna toast them together in the pan. Heat up your pan, and now we're gonna toss the spices 
in with the oil. So I've just got a little bit of oil here, and then a lot of these spices I couldn't get at the regular grocery store. I had to go to Indian Market, because I've, I've cooked with like ground cumin before, but these are cumin seeds. I don't know if I've ever baked with those. And then we've got some coriander, red chili powder, turmeric. I don't even know how to pronounce this, but basically it is the resin from a big fennel plant. Apparently this spice, it like tastes like pickled garlic. That's just so cool. I. It's awesome. We're gonna add these later, so don't, don't worry about those yet. Let's toss it all in the pan right now. Toast it for about 30 seconds, then we're gonna add our watermelon rind. Oh, that smells so good. Oh, 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 <coughs> oh, <coughs> oh, whoa, it's a lot of spice, a lot of spice, woo! <laughs> Get in there. Just mix everything together until it's well coated. So just flip all those rinds and all those spices and all that oil, get in there. Yeah, oh my gosh, I guess for this recipe, the bigger the pan, the better. Then once it's mixed together, I'm gonna turn off the heat and we're gonna add a couple more things. We've got dried mango powder, a little bit of salt and cilantro. I heard that for some people, that cilantro tastes like soap. Now just stir to coat everything and then it's done. Okay, this smells really spicy. Okay, now I'm just gonna have a little taste. This is a spice that when you're eating it, how do I say this? When you're eating it, when you're chewing, I'm like, okay, there's lots of spice, there's lots of spice. But then right at the end, when you're swallowing, <sighs> my tongue just went on fire. Ooh, this was too spicy for me. This recipe, I'm just not equipped. I do love spice and it's not a bad burn. It is a nice, like soothing kind of a burn. <laughs> What I mean is it's like that feeling when you drink whiskey and my throat's warm, it's a little hot, and I like it. It's a good, it, same, so that feeling is on my tongue. I love the idea of it. This recipe is just too much for me. Next thing that we're gonna try, ice cream toppings. Now these are both from two separate videos, but they've been going viral, so I really wanted to try them. The first unique topping that we're gonna try is wine and specifically red wine i'm using one called cherry pie it's a pinot noir so that should be pretty sweet and you want to use about a fourth cup i like wine and i like ice cream but i have never had them together this combo is a first for me so i'm excited i'm nervous i don't know what to think here this is like a comfort food and then italian juice here we go Wow, that is so good. Oh my gosh. Mmm, first taste, mmm, delicious wine. And then it gets all creamy and smooth and sweet. I thought this was gonna be silly and now I wanna throw this in a blender and make this like a wine milkshake. This is a great combo, wow. Okay, so the next one that we're gonna try is olive oil and Flaky sea salt. Now it must be flaky. That was very clear. Okay, the olive oil I'm using, the best of the best, you guys. I'm Italian, I'm very picky, I don't care. I will eat top ramen noodles, but I am not gonna compromise on my olive oil. So this is from Air One. And does it cost like $50 a bottle? Yes, it does. I'm gonna drizzle it. This, oh, 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 wow. That was so expensive that I'm gonna eat all this, whether I like it or not. Now, let's put this flaky sea salt on top. Okay, just a little bit, just a little bit. I like salt. Okay, let's try this. <laughs> I can't even taste anything else. out the amount of olive oil I'm gonna be drizzling on top of her ice cream. <laughs> and salt. <laughs> little there, a little there, maybe even less. Whew. Round two. <laughs> Why is flaky salt so salty? I don't know if this is a joke or a troll or if it's a real thing. This type of salt, flaky sea salt, is apparently 
the saltiest salt out there. This one <laughs> is a no for me, but this olive oil is a yes. This is the saddest story I have is I bought a brand new bottle of this and I'm walking back to my car. The handle's broken, boom, crash, and all my olive oil, $50 just burned up in flames right there. Just to let you know at Air One, they do not replace your bottle of olive oil if you drop it in the parking lot. They said, no way. And I was like, okay, I'll go buy a new one. Next recipe, I'm very excited because it is a recipe for shave ice and not just any shave ice, strawberry shave ice. This is so cool, I have never thought to do this. All right, so over here I've got some frozen strawberries. So this is basically our ice. The fruit is the ice. This is so cool. What a fun idea. And then, oh, a zester, which is basically just a big cheese grater. Has really fine blades. So this is just strawberry zest, but it's frozen. And look at that. It looks like ice. It's even pink. So it's naturally colored. What? Naturally flavored, naturally colored. Love. What? <laughs> This is crazy. Oh my gosh. Mike, my birthday's coming up. <laughs> Please go spam Mike's social media and just write shave ice machine with a heart emoji for my birthday. Mike, yes, his handles are husky, at husky on everything. Okay, here we go. <laughs> okay, we've got black sesame seeds, chopped peanuts, mint, Ooh, little minty minty. And then just a little bit of sweetened condensed milk. That's for the drizzle. Just drizzle on top. You gotta go quick. It is melting on the bottom already. So I gotta go fast. I gotta get a little bit of everything. All right, here we go. Wow, I'm not mad at it. Not only am I not mad at it, I think I like this. Natural strawberry has so much flavor. They don't need artificial stuff. This is really flavorful. Mm, it's a really tart strawberry in that form. So if you like tart candies, tart flavors of ice cream or like shave ice, mm, it's tart. And then there's the nuttiness from all the crushed peanuts to calm down the tart afterwards. So it's like, woo, we're tart. And then it's like, mmm, like nutty buddy. Mm. This is cool. Cool and creative. I love it. I love shave ice and the idea of having a natural flavored shave ice. Win. Our last recipe today is Twisted Toast. So this video went viral, but there's no description of what it is. It's just Twisted Toast, hashtag toast hack. So it's basically taking a piece of toast and turning it into kind of a Danish. So you just take one piece of toast and I took a small cutting knife and you just cut in each of the corners, but you leave it connected at each of the ends. So it's like this cool little shape like that. And then you twist in all the edges together like this. Ah, hence the name Twisted Toast. Go like this, do, 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 do. Tuck it in just like that. And then you're gonna take a little bit of brie cheese and place it in here. Woo, okay, this is where the sleeves are a little tricky here. I'm gonna squish it over here, squish it over there. Come on, get in there. I'm not making you any smaller, so I'm just gonna squish you. There you go, there you go. Oh my gosh, this is so much brie, maybe it's too much. And then on top, we're gonna put a little bit of jam. In the viral video, there's no baking instructions, so tested it, so you're gonna preheat your oven to 400 degrees and bake for 15 minutes. Now the little baking sheet, and in we go. Da do do there we are, done baking. And this just looks amazing. I'm a breakfast girly, I love breakfast and I love having toast and all. oh, this looks so good. Mmm. You cannot go wrong with bread, brie, and jam. It's just, oh, simple and delicious. It doesn't really taste like a Danish to me, but this is not bad. It's fun, it's easy, it's tasty. It's really up to you guys if this is something you wanna do. Mm! 
All right, that does it for trying even more TikTok recipes. Today, we had some unexpected big wins. That burn away cake, I'm still, I can't believe I got Rick rolled in person. Like not digitally online, but actually, <laughs> you guys don't get it and it's fine because it just, it made my heart so happy. Let me know in the comments below which recipe out of all the ones you saw today that you would try. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please do me a favor, let me know. And if you'd like to watch any other videos, you can click up here or up here.